hi guys and welcome back to another video so today's video <laughs> is going to be finally decluttering my lipstick jar that i have had like over the years kind of just like accumulating lipsticks i went through an entire lipstick phase where that's literally the only like makeup product that i would purchase i'm pretty i'm pretty sure i have like every lip color i've had lipsticks there for like years that i definitely need to take out because they're expired or they just don't work the same so today's the day <laughs> i'm finally going to declutter that cabinet honestly every time i open it i get anxiety because there's just so much in there that i'm just like nope <laughs> i can't deal with this today i don't have the energy i don't have the time but i end up wearing like the same five lipstick colors so i really do want to take out kind of like everything that no longer works and also just kind of see like what colors i have um i went in there like just now recently to be able to pull out a color that i haven't used and this is one of the colors and now that i'm looking at it i'm like oh my god it looks so cute perfect for fall and that one is the kylie jenner uh well kylie cosmetic velvet liquid lipstick in heat and <laughs> I haven't worn this in forever. Why? Because I didn't even know I had it. Why? Because I haven't looked in that jar because it gives me anxiety. So we're going to tackle that. If you want to see me declutter all these lipsticks and do not judge. Okay? Don't judge. Um, well, then just keep on watching. Okay, so this is pretty much the jar that we are going to be tackling today. So literally just full of lipsticks lip liners lip glosses like everything lips so i want to just go through everything take out things that i kind of know are already kind of old that i've had for a while colors that i might not be using so we're going to do that together okay so we're going to start off with kind of just little sections by sections so that i am not completely overwhelmed so i'm just going to quickly kind of glance and look and see like which ones of these colors i've had forever i already know that i'm going to be swatching a bunch of colors on my arm because i'm going to want to see how they work this i've had forever this is a ColourPop lipstick um one of their ultra matte ones i believe it is so this i've had for quite a while so actually a lot of ColourPop lipsticks that I have here I'll be getting rid of because I know that I've had them for literally like over two years because I haven't really bought any new liquid matte lippies so I'm gonna just quickly kind of get glance through that and know that I'm gonna take these out I have this one as well which is the I Love Sarai um, collaboration that they had which is an ultra satin lip and that one is in matte so um, well, that's a pretty color that's a nice color um, but I've had that one for a while as well and this is just kind of like a color that I feel like just I don't know like I don't know if I like it on me it kind of like washes me out just because it's kind of cool like it's a really cool pinky color so I think I'll get rid of that I'm gonna be getting rid well I, I think I'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of colors because um, I really do want to condense this collection and not just have a bunch of different uh, lipsticks um, so we have this one, which is an Urban Decay one. Um, let me see if this one is... I've had this one for quite a while, too. So I think I might toss this one, too, honestly, because um, I think I've had this for quite some time. Um, that's a nice red. And I just... When it comes to red, I don't really, like, use lipsticks like this. I really like to use um, liquid... Uh, like matte liquid lipsticks just so that they don't transfer because colors like this in this formula will definitely run all over my lips I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm pretty sure I have reds because I love reds that was definitely a color that I was obsessed with and literally buying in every single like company I was just buying a red lip so I'm sure we're gonna find some more um what I know for sure that I am going to be getting rid of is kind of like these metallic lipsticks. Like, I literally don't wear them. I don't know what made me think that I would wear them. I don't know why I thought it would be cool to wear them. Um, I mean, they're really pretty. Don't get me, like, don't get me wrong. They're super pretty, but... <laughs> Girl, when are you ever going to wear that? Never. So, that is going to go to the side. I have this e.l.f. Uh, oh, this one I love. This one I got recently. This is a lip gloss, which is super, super pretty from e.l.f. And it's so nice to just pair kind of like over 
any lip so i'm definitely keeping that and i feel like this is such a good dupe for the buxom uh lip glosses so pretty i absolutely love it and i love that it has like gold glitter so it works for me so we'll put that over here we're gonna put the ones that i kind of want to keep over here this i've had for i like it's discolored so i'm not even gonna look at it like i already know that i've had this forever and all these lippy sticks that i have here i know are all old oh my god this was an og and this is a color that i will always continue to rebuy it's Hollywood Boulevard and it's such a good brown. I absolutely love it. I think I have like literally like four or something in this collection But it is such a pretty brown and I love it especially for like fall time So good, but I've had this one for a really 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 long time. So I'll definitely be looking to like just get another one of those a more recent one so that it's not like <laughs> super old this is another one that i have from smashbox so i don't know literally i really don't even know i think this was part of like a, a holiday collection i don't know what made me think that i would wear these colors on my lips guys this is not this is not eyeshadow this is not an eye topper this is lipstick i don't know what made me think that i would wear this but i've had it for like i'm pretty sure over a year or two and I've never worn them. So I'd just be like, oh, maybe one day I wanna wear them. So let me just keep it in my collection. And then I never do. So yeah, no, today's the day that we're gonna be brutal and we're just gonna take everything out. This is, what is this? A Charlotte Tilbury small little, what is this one? Pillow Talk, this is like the fam her famous like color. Yeah, that's not gonna work on me. So we're not even gonna keep that in there. I'm telling you, I don't even know what I was thinking, keeping all these colors like, <laughs> If every color works for me, please, somebody tell me. We have some of these lip liners. I'll push that to the side. Uh, we have some of these L'Oreal Infallible Lip Glosses, which I was obsessed with. And honestly, I kind of forgot about them because, like I said, I literally haven't even checked in this drawer. Oh, that's cute. Once again, it's kind of one of those colors that could, like, wash me out. So I'm going to just keep it and then kind of swatch it and see on my actual lip and see if I like the look of it. But we'll push that to the side. We have another ColourPop, which I know is old. Um, what's this one? This is an e.l.f. We have an e.l.f. one here. This is one of their liquid matte lipsticks in the color Marvelous. <laughs> That's cute. I could already kind of tell. I feel like this pink is just not going to work for me. Uh, I don't know. That one looks uh really really pink but maybe it could work i don't know i need to swatch that one but honestly i don't really see myself wearing a color like this pero por si acaso let's just put that to the side this one is um one of the in uh l'oreal infallible pro matte lipsticks this formula is one of my favorites when it comes to long lasting uh lipsticks because it will not budge it will not move and this is like a good nude color can't even really tell because it's kind of like my skin color so this one is good uh, i forgot i had this one i've been wearing cowboy like non-stop almost every day i have this one from maybelline which is one of their super stay 24 color ones honestly i don't even know what this was all about because it's like a dual side i don't know what the other side kind of does never really paid attention to it but this brown is nice. That is a nice brown. That is pretty. I think I'll keep that for sure and I'll see how it works. What is this other side? Um, what is it supposed to be? Like if you wanna, oh, it's kind of like a, like a balm type of, like what? I guess if you wanna make it like glossy, don't know, but we'll use it so <laughs> we'll be able to understand that more we have another l'oreal gloss here uh let's see this one looks like it has some really nice shimmers oh that's pretty that's a pretty one uh it's kind of pinkish though so we'll put this in the maybe pile because i just i don't really lean towards pinks i'm more towards like browns and like uh peachy type of colors all right so we're bringing this Bringing this down, we have the color Bombshell from Huda Beauty. These I actually really like too. I like her liquid mattes. Let's see this color. That's a pinky color. Honestly, don't know if I'm gonna like that one. So we can, we could toss that one. Not cute, oh my goodness. I had this color on. 
I had this color on yesterday or the day before. I was like, oh, like this color. I haven't worn it in forever. Like such a pretty color. I put it on literally like 25 minutes later, my lips started to crumble. And to make it even better, I was wearing an all white outfit. So this pretty much crumbled over my white pants and stained them. So this is going goodbye. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to see that. We're, we're all set and done. Um, I have this color from the Vivid Matte Liquid like series from Maybelline. Uh, that's a pretty color, but honestly, probably not going to wear that. I was so into like super bright and vivid colors. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was living my best life at that time. Um, I have this Kylie lipstick in Leo, and honestly, the Kylie lipsticks as well. I like some of them, but I need to repurchase because I've had these for quite some time already. So I'm pretty sure a lot of them are like dried out or are going to break out on me. So what I want to do is repurchase some colors that I like that I cannot find dupes for in other companies, but stick to the uh, their uh, velvet. I think it's the velvet formula, which is the lipstick that I have on right now, which I really love that doesn't feel drying on the lips so i'll definitely be using that this is another ColourPop lipstick i'll be tossing because this is from a collaboration that was like 40 years ago pretty much um this is a lip liner uh, that looks really light and really pink for me i do not lean for those colors so i am not keeping you uh we have this one which is called what is this called oh lion king ha huh? that's cute that's really cute. Um, I'm trying to have you guys like so I can focus. Oh no. All right. This, well, this is like <laughs> so that's gone. I'm not even going to swatch that. Um, up next, we have this red liner from the brand Real Her. I don't even know when or where I got this from, but I know I've had it for a while. So that's a pretty color, though. That's like a really nice, like, wine color. Um, so maybe we'll keep her just because I have a lot of wine lipstick colors. Uh, let's see this one. Um, that's a nice liner. It's a nice liner. It still leans a little pink, but it's not so, so, so pink. So we can put these in the we'll keep pile. Let me pull my sleeves up because the swatch party, I already know it's going to be wild. We have this Jouer um, Skinny Dip Liner, which was super popular and super famous. Ask me if I wore it once. I didn't. I didn't wear it once. <laughs> and um, and this, it's also just one of those shades that is so pretty and so nice, but it's like, girl, when or where are you going to wear this to? Like, this is a beautiful eye line, like something to put over your eye, but I just never wear these colors on my lips. Like, it's just, I just don't. And it's pretty. It really is really pretty, but I just don't wear them. But I've always kept it just because it's like such an iconic shade. So we'll put this in the maybe pile. Maybe we'll put that there. Um, I have this ColourPop sticky, which I'm going to be tossing. I have this Yate London liquid velvet lipstick, which I used to be obsessed with. I love this so much, but I'm going to get rid of it because I know it's pretty old. And then I have one of these Tarte. I think it's like part of their Rainforest of the Sea collection lipsticks. Oh, this is a pretty color. I think this is when I went on my like nude lipstick collection. Um, that's really pretty. That'll be nice for like a no makeup, just a wash of color over the lip. Honestly, I, I literally like completely forgot that I even had those shades. And then for the last one, we have this Morphe color um, called Nibble. I don't remember when I purchased this. Um, hmm. That's a nice color. That's a nice color. Well, we'll keep this one for now. We'll see if we find a better formula with that color. So, so far we have that over there. So we're doing pretty good. Now <laughs> let's get another bunch and work from there. We are with round two. I'm gonna just quickly glance and like I said, toss out lipsticks that I know I've had for a long time. Another color pop, getting rid of that one just quickly glancing and kind of seeing which ones I know I've had forever um, this is a color that I'm probably gonna toss out this is a morphe color in jealousy this is one of their liquid lips uh, I just actually I don't know 
I just, I don't know if I like that mauve color on me. It kind of just washes me out and it doesn't look as cute. But we'll keep that in the maybe pile just because I kind of want to see if I want to keep that color. We have one of our Fenty glosses, which we, we are definitely keeping because we love Fenty glosses here. We have this Smashbox uh, liquid lip color in, I don't even know what this is. I think this came in a set. Uh, let's see what this color looks like. Oh, that's very similar to that uh, that other Morphe color that we had, but it's kind of more pink. This one is kind of like more muted, and this one is kind of more bright, but I kind of... um, Do I like it? We'll put that in the maybe pile. We have this Morphe lipstick. Oh, this one is going to be good to put with like darker lip liners. I actually remember, I bought this one not too long ago, and then... I didn't remember where I put it. All right, we have a lippy sticks. Bye, girl, bye. Uh, where we have, oh my God, I've had these dose of color lipsticks since like they first came out. So I know these are old, like these are old, but I love their formula. So I definitely need to buy um, one of those colors again. I think one that I really loved was called like um, Truffle, I think it was. I really like that one and they have a really good brown, but honestly now drugstore is like, <laughs> making up for all of it so to spend more than $20 on a lipstick is looking like a major no-no oh my god this color is dark I was really into these type of colors oh it smells like chocolate oh my god yes this is actually the L'Oreal it's part of like their chocolate collection oh, oh my god I don't know if I would wear this color anymore just because it's so deep but I don't want to throw it away it smells like chocolate Oh my God, that smells divine. Okay, we're gonna keep that here. <laughs> we're gonna keep it just, just for the smell. This one, I think is pretty old as well. I think this came in like a holiday set that I had once. Uh, this is an Urban Decay liner. Uh, let's see, I mean, it's still working pretty good. Now, is that the type of red that I go for? Hmm. Bueno, it looks like we're putting a lot in the maybe pile. All right, we have this color from Urban Decay. Oh, this girl is old. She is old, old, old. Um, we'll be tossing her out. That's a nice color though, but she's old. I'm telling you guys, I've had this, I've had lipstick in here for years. <laughs> what is going on? This happens a lot with these type of liners. I don't know what is going on and the ColourPop ones. That's that color. I think that's kind of like too mauve for me, like way too mauve. This is the Dulce K one. Um, that's that's kind of too mauve and I know I've had this one for a while anyways. Uh, we have this Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. Oh, I, I remember this being like matte matte and like we stick to the lip and we do not come off. But that's kind of like a pink I don't wear anymore. So we're gonna get rid of that. Honestly, I'm I'm really like being super brutal with this one because I kind of now know like more or less the colors. Yeah, this is not going to work. This is a Kylie liner in Leo. So this is matching one of those lipsticks that I bought. But like I was saying, I kind of know now like what type of lipstick colors and formulas I like versus before I would just buy everything and then kind of I don't know who I thought I was just like buying everything and then seeing which one worked for me and then having a whole drawer of a bunch of lipsticks that I never wore. This is actually a really, really pretty color, but I know it's really old. Uh, this is, what brand this is this? Rimmel. And it's the color 750, Look Who's Talking. That's a really pretty color. It's kind of pinkish, kind of mauve but it has like some brown in it, really pretty, but it's also old. So we're not gonna keep that. Oh my God, I loved this color and I still love this color. I just, I completely forgot that I had this color. Such a good color for fall and it smells, smells good. So we'll definitely be pulling that one out. I'm getting some use from it now. All right, let's see what else. Oh my God, I've had these forever and I never used them. Uh, this is the Milani Lip Creams. I think I got them in like an Ipsy like a like two or three years ago. That's a pretty that's a pretty color, but I just it's this one that I swatched. That's a pretty color, but I don't wear it, so bye. This is another one. This one you can tell is pretty old, but this is like one of those blood red colors, kind of wine. Nice, but like I said, it's pretty old. And I kinda already know like what brand and what formula i like so i know what to buy so much more smarter with how i shop i have this color in this purple and yes i used to love 
love wearing these type of purples, super bright purples. I don't anymore, so I'm gonna toss that because I just, I don't. I'm, I'm more of like a bright red lip, browns, wines, or nude. Like that's kind of just who I am and who I become. This lip gloss is so pretty, but I don't know what. Like what was I thinking? to put a blue lip gloss on my on my lips. I just, I, I feel like with so many of these, especially lip glosses, I was just like, oh my God, it's such a nice color, or oh my God, this looks so pretty. Girl, this is not an eye topper. This is for your lips. You definitely not putting that on your lips. So that's gonna go to somebody else who wants to rock blue glittery lips, cause it ain't me. Um, this is also, this is one that I was talking to you guys about earlier from L'Oreal as well in the shade Cowboy, which is definitely a staple nude for me. So we're definitely keeping that. We have this Kylie, is this one a, uh, no, this is a matte liquid. So we're definitely not keeping her because her matte ones are so drying, but this was such a pretty color. It's 22, it's kind of like this terracotta burnt orange, which would be really nice for fall, but this one is kind of old and it's also her matte formula, which I'm not that crazy about. Tulsin that, we have this ColourPop lipstick called On Repeat. Uh, let's see that. Oh, that's a really nice red color. But like I said, I don't really wear lipsticks in like color lipsticks, only like nudes and stuff, just because lipsticks tend to get like runny and messy. So I don't want to risk that with a bold color on my lips. So we'll just toss that to the side. Okay, this doesn't even come out, but this is a smash mop, smash mops, smash box lipstick that I have in here. Tolson that. Um, we have another Kylie matte liquid lipstick in Love Bite. I remember being obsessed with this color and I used it a lot when I had it, but uh, like I said, this is probably another one of those. Oh, that's a nice color. That's a nice one. But her matte liquid lipstick, like I said, I wish this was in the velvet and like the colors that I like, I'll definitely go and see, check out her velvet ones and kind of just go for those instead because her, her, uh, she has really pretty colors in the matte liquid lipstick, but I just don't really like the formula. Um, especially compared to other much cheaper ones. Uh, we have this one from Black Radiance, I believe. And this is a brown, oh girl, you, <laughs> you crumbling and you, I know, I know I've had this one for a while. So that is to be tossed. Okay, we're done with the second batch. We're doing good. Our collection is very, very small, guys. I'm being brutal. I am literally taking out anything and everything that is either one, old, or two, I am not wearing. So this is the next batch. And I think at some point, I'm definitely gonna have to just like, fast forward this and you guys can sort of just see it in like a faster pace just because i have so many lipstick this is gonna be like a four hour long video so i'm just gonna once again once again just keep doing like i was mentioning before just go through them take out what i know is old take out colors that i know i am not gonna use and then um we'll gather back together when i'm pretty much like all done with everything and i'll show you guys the final uh collection and what we're left with
just wanted to quickly show you guys this lipstick because I think it is divine. It is so cute. I would never actually wear it, but it's from Kiko Milani. And it looks so, so cute. I think I bought this like maybe two years ago. It was part of their holiday collection. But oh my God, how pretty does that look? Like, how is that a lipstick? Can someone please like make this so that I can put this on my eye? Like, this is, this is insane. I mean, honestly, I could put this on my eye, but wow. That is so beautiful. And I love the shape of the lipstick. It kind of looks like a diamond cut, which is super, super cute. So honestly, I think I might keep this one just because it's so pretty. I don't want to toss it. But yeah, let's just continue with the rest. This is another one of those beautiful lipsticks that I'm just like, oh my God, this is so pretty. But it's new, so I'm definitely going to be giving it away to someone who would actually use this. Um, it's a two-faced one. Do you see like the little peaches and the, it has like the... The Too Faced sign on top, like it is such a pretty lipstick, but unfortunately it is not a color that I would wear. So you, my friend, are going to have to depart from my collection. Okay guys, so this is the final lipstick collection and oh my goodness, I am absolutely in love with it. I can actually see my lipsticks. They're all in shades that I know I'm gonna use and I'm not overwhelmed by opening this jar. This is the bag full of lipsticks that I decluttered and got rid of. I also have some tossed to the side to be able to give that are brand new, but I am so happy with the final, like this whole entire final process and my lipstick jar is looking so nice. It's condensed and it's just perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter. I have tons of other makeup that I definitely want to declutter and also kind of just like fix and organize the same way that I did this. So let me know if you guys would like to see that next. And um, I hope that this helps you or inspires you to declutter your makeup or your clothes or whatever it is that you might have like tons and tons of stuff of that you kind of just pull it off, but you know that you need to declutter. Catch you guys in the next video.